Okay guys, so here we are at Oakland, California in Los Rios Rancho and we're gonna have some fun picking some apples today and uh, what else, making apple cider? In today's Kim's Adventure, we visit Los Rios Rancho, Southern California's largest apple farm since 1906. Since the apple trees were first planted in Oakland more than 100 years ago, it's been a unique microcosm of agriculture and entrepreneurial spirit. Nestled away in the San Bernardino Mountains at the heart of apple country, the 5 mile scenic loop of 30 plus ranches and farms is open year round. And one thing to note when you come out here to Oak Glen, there's very little or very sparse uh, cell phone reception. Um, so plan ahead when you come out. Los Rios first began in 1906 when Howard L. Rivers, a grower from Pasadena, purchased 300 acres in Oak Glen to expand his operations to include apples. He planted the largest apple orchard in all of Southern California and soon switched gears from wholesale to retail. A sales barn and bakery were built, picnic areas developed, and cider operations enhanced to make the most of a growing number of visitors. More than a half century later, in 1978, Dennis Riley decided it was time to get his wife and three sons out of the city and bought 12 acres in Oak Glen. Soon the Rileys learned to care for several hundred heirloom apple trees and in a few years opened their orchard up to the public. They had old-fashioned hold-down dances, cider presses, and apple picking for hundreds of visitors ready to experience the orchard life. In 1987, they purchased an adjoining 200 acres and Riley Farms was born. But due to a family disagreement in 2002, Devin and Shelley Riley left Riley Farms and took over business operations at Los Rios Rancho. So Los Rios actually has two sides to the farm. They have one side that's a botanic garden, and you cross the street over to the other, and there's the corn maze and the farm fair. And they have a whole field of pumpkins out here, getting ready for October. From Labor Day through Thanksgiving, Los Rios Rancho offers special autumn activities. So they got corn maze, they got candle dipping, tin smithing, frontier chores, tomahawks, and all of them cost tickets. At the north side, they have the wagon and tractor rides which takes you on a leisurely tour around the farm. On the day that we went, there was an option to ride on a bay of hail or a covered wagon with bench seats. They also prepared boxes filled with apples ready to be crushed into delicious apple cider. If you want to experience an activity from the old world, try your hands at some candle dipping. And for those of you with pretty good aim, there's tomahawk throwing, but you must be at least 8 years old enough to participate. After you've had all that fun, fill up your bellies at the doghouse for some delicious grubs. At the center of the farm fair, they've set up a giant tent filled with gifts and farm fresh items to purchase. And as you walk into the gift shop, which is a makeshift tent, you can see all sorts of interesting items to purchase. And the kids are interested in the toys. What do we got here? We got the cute bot, and of course Dylan wants to do the, the prank, uh, the prank tins. He wants to prank his friends, make a joke on them, and then there's a pinball games right here. Pinball games? So all sorts of toys for the kids. There's a lot more things to do at the farm fair, but we have to shovel back down to the south side to meet up with some friends. And I'm reconnecting with Mother Nature right now, and it feels amazing. Check it out. This is how you reconnect. This is how you ground yourself. Release all that energy. Take in the Earth's frequency. Ooh, I think I need to cut my toenails though. They're getting pretty long and sharp. While we were waiting, we decided to start eating our lunch. You guys got your lunch? 
Okay. So we're just having a, our picnic out here at Oakland, California. It's a really great weather today. Not hot. Perfect. Perfect day to be in the farm. Hey, look who I bumped into. The Californers. <laughs> The collab video. <laughs> Chris and Trang initially started their channel for their travels, but decided to change things up and find fun things to do with their kids around Southern California. The synchronicity of our chance meeting was really out of this world. Make sure you check out their awesome YouTube channel. I'll leave the links in the descriptions down below. We just sat around and relaxed while the kids got to play for hours and have fun. After lunch, we decided to go on the Los Rios Rancho Nature Trail. In 1995, the Woodlands Conservancy purchased the ranch from the descendants of Howard L. Rivers in an effort to save it from development and retain its rich history. They worked diligently to return some of the land to native habitat develop and expand trails for visitors, and create an education program that focuses on the wildland and animal life unique to Oakland. Today it's known as the Oakland Preserve, a 909 acre parcel of land which holds the Montane Botanic Garden, Children's Outdoor Discovery Center, and the 114 year old Los Rios Rancho Apple Farm. It was about half a mile walk to the first orchard, but they weren't ready for picking. It's a really nice day for a hike weather, maybe about, I don't know, what would you say, 70 degrees out here, maybe mid 70s, and a field full of apples. Wow, those apples look juicy. These trees are big. Nearby was a bird watching station, so we went inside to check it out. So we saw this this bird, this cabin looks like it's for bird watching out here. And then you can uh, look right out the window. Probably do some nature viewing, but they have uh, picnic tables here as well. So um, I'm not sure if this can be rented out, but it looks like you can have a little get together in this cabin. And they have some fact sheets about some common birds you will find here. walked another half a mile to finally reach the apple picking orchard. The prices start at $4.25 a pound, but after 10 pounds it gets cut to $3. If you're going in a group, it would be wise to combine your purchase to get a better price. Let me see how many apples you got Dylan. Were you sure these are the best apples yeah. money can buy? Yeah. Okay. Guaranteed? Put that apple in there. <laughs> nice. You want to carry the bag? Yeah. Okay, Ellie got her first apple. It's my friend Louie with his apples. With his score. Just started. Just started? What are you, what's your, what are you going to go for? 10 pounds? Let me see that. Whoa. How come they look like there's a wax on the outside? Is that just dirt? You tasted it? It's sweet? Yeah. Those are sweet? What is it? Like, does it taste like candy? Yeah, it tastes like a, a caramel apple. Okay. Are you able to sample out here? After it was all said and done, we spent nearly $30 on a bag of apples. I paid a king's ransom on these bad boys, and I don't even like apples. On the way back, we wandered through the mini conifer forest, which brought back memories of our trip to Sequoia National Park. We just adopted this kid from a third world country. He looks well fed though, just dirty I guess. Oh. Dead life.
we took a quick detour through the Children's Discovery Garden. Each year, nearly 30,000 children visit the Discovery Garden and have an opportunity to expand their knowledge of the natural world. Make sure you pay close attention because there are interactive quizzes installed throughout the area. It was time to end the day, but not without some fresh squeezed apple cider and homemade apple pies. We're nearing the end of our day here at Los Rios Rancho and we're gonna finish it off with some uh, apple cider right here. We got some apple cider. So we're gonna get ourselves some apple cider out here at Los Ranchos Rio or Rio Ranchos. In October 2020, a fire had destroyed several buildings at the Los Rios Rancho, which included the bakery and ranch store. So if you haven't been here in a while, you'll see a tent set up in its place. So we're walking through another gift shop. Yeah, I just get get some for each of them. Three. And share some with mommy and daddy on that. Ooh, that's nice. Ugh. Daddy did me. After leaving Oak Glen, we wanted to make a quick stop to Snow Line to grab a few of their famous apple donuts. But unfortunately, they were closed. That's when we stumbled upon Oak Tree Mountain. Oak Tree Mountain was established 50 years ago as a small apple shed. This led to selling apple pies and apple cider and eventually grew into 14 acres of family fun in Oak Glen, California. They are home to Apple Annie's Restaurant, Milk Smith Ice Cream Creamery, Have a Dog, Twisted Oak Barbecue, and more. We decided to wait in line for the world famous Mile High Apple Pie at Apple Annie's. Me and the kids explored the nearby Artisan Village, which is built like an old frontier town with a train ride and petting zoo. There were even wild peacocks roaming the grounds. Oh, look at all those peacocks all over the place. And peacocks coming, keep pe peacocks coming. Hi peacock, where are you going? Oh, there's a big one over there, that's the male peacock. The male peacock is more colorful. Hi male peacock. This woman thought we were social media stars. Mistaken identity, I guess. While the kids played, I went a little further to the mountain post where you could enjoy live music and good food. The umbrellas were really cool to look at. There were even some carnival type games such as axe therapy and drop four basketball which combines basketball and connect four. It was blocked off by tape, but they even had a cool looking playground. And if you're feeling down or just need a good laugh, there's Inspiration Forest, which has signs posted every which way. Apple Annie's had so many pies to choose from, but we ended up taking home their classic giant. We got some uh, apple tarts. We got our apples. We got our Apple Annie mountain apple pie with some syrup, I guess. Sauce for the apple pie. Okay, let's check out what a mountain apple pie looks like. Let me have some lemonade. Holy! Oh. Ho. Ho. Holy cow! Look at that mountain of apple pie. That's a pretty small mountain. I don't know how you make slices out of this. It's so big. Let's try this. 
What does it taste like? It tastes good. It tastes good. <laughs> it says it tastes good. We decided to eat this enormous pie with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. And here's some Liberty apples. Wait, what the heck Did you? Don't tell me you put this in there and then we paid for this. Okay, good. This is a peach, you know that, right? Or maybe it's an apple. It's weird. I'm glad you didn't pay for that monstrosity, but. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Slice that baby up. I said slice that baby up. Slice it. That is a gigantic slice. What the? Okay, who's gonna, you could probably have to put one slice into all four bowls. It's so humongous. Oh, there you go. One apple pie. Uh, I'll make one apple pie. <laughs> You're doing it. Is Daddy healthy? Four apple pie. Okay. And then put a little syrup on top. Pour some syrup. No, no, pour some syrup. Here. Here. Let me put some syrup on. Here, let me pour it for you. Wait, you know what? Dash it in. Oh, I guess it does work. Mm -mm. Man, that was good. Anyways, we had a great time at Oakland and hope to be back again soon. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, here's some more suggestions. And as always, please like, subscribe, and press the bell for notifications. And I'll see you on the next Kim's Adventure.